Hello everyone! Now, first of all, this video is not about how to get a viral video. Uh, for one, I don't know how, and second, I don't think that's actually something that should be a goal, even though sometimes I may wish for it a little bit, <laughs> but not the point. This is more of a pep talk for small channels, uh, small creators who are either just starting out or are struggling to grow their audience and are, I don't know, questioning <laughs> whether they should still be at it and how long it takes and whether it's worth it, you know, that kind of stuff. So if that's one thing you're interested in, then feel free to stick around. So even though I started this channel actually kind of early on in the pandemic, at the time I only did like five videos. Um, my initial subscriber count was around the same amount. Um, I'm not one of those people who shamelessly in a good way advertise their endeavors. So it was me, my husband and maybe a couple of relatives who were subscribed and then it kind of slowly, very, very slowly went from there. I did like five videos, quit. Um, over the next few months, some people subscribed and watched my videos and I was like, okay, I'll try again. Uh, went back at it, did another maybe five videos, took another break and then I've been actively, like genuinely actively posting videos since May 2021 and by actively I mean uh, once, then twice, and sometimes three times or more uh, every week. So I consider that day more as the start of this channel, like for real, um, and it took me 11 months to go from maybe 40, 50 subscribers to a, th a thousand and get all the hours and essentially get monetized. And as I said, besides those moments of weakness, uh, when I wish a video of mine got tens or probably more like hundreds of thousands of views and I just woke up one day and I have all these new subscribers and all these views. Um, besides those moments of weakness, I am genuinely happy with the kind of slow but steady growth that my channel has had uh, since I started it, mostly thanks to Abby Cox. Uh, she's a YouTuber as well. And she actually made a video about her experience of what it's like to go viral and the aftermath of that, like a year later. Uh, her experience is actually kind of incredible because literally her fifth video she ever made uh, went viral. And uh, that, that had its consequences. And because of that, I really, for one thing, I suggest watching that because it kind of gives you a perspective and helps set your priorities straight in a way. Um, so for me, going viral is not a likely scenario, mostly because I focus on guides and tips and tricks videos, which do well, but it's more of a steady growth over time rather than quick, immediate burst of attention. For that, you want reactions, opinions, polarizing topics. You want to make things that are current, that people are interested in, that people want to be reassured of or want to get in a fight with. Someone has a very strong opinion and they are almost looking for someone who has a different one so they can go at it in the comment section and try and prove everyone wrong. That does happen. And I mean, I say all of this so wisely, but the reality is that whenever the opportunity presents itself for me to also make these kinds of videos, even within the realm of topics that I usually cover, I am the person who looks at it and thinks, well, that's not anything worth making videos about. And then all these other videos pop up and get tens and hundreds of thousands of views. And I'm like, well, there goes my hopes and dreams. <laughs> What suits me in those moments is obviously not my AdSense revenue, but the fact that I'm kind of maintaining my integrity in a sense, uh, because I'm well aware of what I'm aiming for when I make videos. And that mostly is something that I can look back at with pride and say, I made this, this is the work I put into, this is what I did. A couple of qualities that would describe videos that I personally consider good no matter how well they perform in the algorithm would be creativity. So anytime I try a new approach or learn something new, let's say in editing, 
I will consider that as a good video because for one thing I learned something. My editing is still very very basic um, but considering the fact that I put out two to three videos a week and my only time to edit is during nap time because I've been making videos throughout pregnancy and taking care of a newborn and now a 10 month old, I think I'm doing okay. <laughs> So literally, anytime there's a little bit of creativity, a little bit of extra effort in, it's like, wow, she had five minutes to put extra thought into how she actually wants the video to look like. <laughs> Another good video for me is a well-researched one. So a video where I've dug extra deep, gone on all the platforms, forums, Reddit, Facebook groups, etc., looked up all the information, tried it out myself, checked everything, <laughs> made sure that it's all valid and I can vouch for every single thing that I say in my video. The hilarious part is, of course, that almost always there will be one person in the comments section being like, don't watch this video, she doesn't know what she's talking about, and I'm like, seriously? And this is where things turn ironic, actually, because the moment you start getting nonsensical, negative comments, for one, where people say you don't know what you're talking about when you know for a fact you know what you're talking about, or when people start complaining that the video isn't this or that, when it was never intended to be this or that, um, that's when you know that your video is doing well. It means that the algorithm likes your video and is pushing it outside the realm of your usual subscriber base. Because, I mean, my subscribers are a pretty nice bunch. They would not throw insults at my face. After all, there's a reason why they subscribe. They like something about my channel and want to stick around, so they're not gonna be mean to me. A video that does well according to YouTube standards often means you will get a lot of people disagreeing with you. So that is why it is very important to set your own values and remind them to yourself from time to time, especially when someone else who does similar types of content as you is doing better, because you don't know at what price. And if you do get lucky and get a successful YouTube video, just enjoy the views, enjoy the push that it gives you and stay away from the comment section, honestly. <laughs> so yeah, that's the pep talk I wanted to give, I guess. Uh, this is by no means my usual content, uh, not even close, and I tend to stick with my usual content 99% of the time, uh, so if you like this, uh, I can't promise similar stuff coming anytime soon. Uh, it would be probably fun to cover comment section and, and how to deal and cope with comments, because it's been a ride already, and I haven't even been here for that long. But, I mean, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, let me know in the comment section as well, and maybe I'll do more of these. If not, I'll stick with my usual content. This is just... It's my channel, I can make whatever videos I want uh, type of situation, and this is what I wanted to make. So, thank you for watching, and maybe I'll see you next time. Who knows? Bye.